impounded the entire area around the tea trench. Uh, we always stress ground padding. I know there's some organizations and groups that don't utilize it. They just bridge. But you can see that there are areas where our, basically our cribbing bases are in relative close proximity to the lip of the trench. If you don't have the ground pads on, then you're truly point loading those surfaces right next to the trench. You really want to avoid that in our opinion. So we've got these buildups, we've got all our bridging in place, and our bridging template layout supports our 12 foot zone at the head of the T, as well as an additional bay back here in the leg of the T. You can see that we started with that 12 foot swath uh, around the head of the trench. We've extended our bridging back this way, and then we basically put a third segment in it, running across the trench with an additional bridger for that inside corner. That keeps all of our personnel completely supported and off of the inside corners. If we walk in here closer, you can see we've also put some good nomenclature on there just to remind guys, don't step on your inside corners. So for all of you at home getting ready to, to go out there and tackle your tees, remember that that is the high risk area that we really want to avoid loading. Um, we've put all of our panels in place. So right now you see there's no shores, um, all the panels are in place, and yet there's nobody holding them. Quick ways to solve that equation. When you are limited on manpower and you don't want to just position people at every strong back. If you're using custom or timber made bridges like this, you can pull your ropes back and simply toenail those ropes to your bridging templates. Um, other options, if you're using corrugated segments or just straight two-by material as opposed to custom bridges, you can run longer ropes running back to pickets or earth pins that are back uh, beyond that four foot to eight foot zone away from the lip of the trench. Either way, the point is you can secure all these panels without manpower actually holding them. So, take a look at this and scan the zone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven panels in place. Remember, there's nothing going to go to that middle shore other than, or that middle panel set on the head of the trench other than a whale. So, we're set. Good bridge, good ground pads. Everybody's getting stuff laid out. Now we're getting ready to attack the, uh, the leg of the team. We're going to talk about shoring this out now.